Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Archim here from Adam Renovations and I would like to talk to you about another topic which is very important uh, and this topic is how to avoid variations or extras within the contract. So what can be worse than doing your homework, planning the job as best as you can and saving your hard-earned cash for years only to find out that the budget doesn't cover everything in the contract you've signed? Well, this is common occurrence and you need to be ready for it. In the building trade, there are a lot of grey areas that must be clarified before the project commences. Uh, leaving this for later and, and dealing with it last minute might cost you an arm and a leg. And we'd hate to see you hop around on one limb. So here's a few helpful tips on how to prevent and handle this sort of situations. So step one, always quantify the contract. Uh, try to establish how much you are paying for so many fittings, tiles, appliances, etc. Uh, if the sum allowed is ambiguous, say 5,000 for tiling, this will be open to interpretation uh, on each side. In other words, you might end up arguing whether this was for 10 square meters or 100. Step 2. Allow contingency and worst case scenario. Don't try to fool yourself that you can get a kitchen for less than it's being sold uh, or you won't need those beautiful windows you always wanted. Uh, budget for the higher end and work your way down. Uh, it's imperative that there uh, there is a 5-10% to 10 margin for additional labor and other expenditure. Step 3. Pick a contract that has no variations at all, uh, which will be design and build. Um, the upside is that the contractor won't be knocking on your door with another bill. Uh, the downside, uh, downside, however, is the contract overall value will likely be higher um, than if you'd go for a standard JCT or REBA, uh, which are both quite popular in the construction industry. Uh, so step four, employ a reputable quantity surveyor or estimator uh, who will detail a precise and comprehensive bill of quantities as well as um, scope of works that will uh, eliminate the likelihood of extras. Uh, having said that, variations might still appear, but in, in far smaller quantities. Uh, try to make all the major decisions before the contract commences. Uh, don't leave till uh, later in the process, as it may come back and bite you. Uh, the kitchen must be chosen. Uh, the bathroom fittings and sanitary wear uh, has to be picked. Uh, the floor finish is decided and everything uh, you know, in that direction. Mechanical and electrical design must be in place as this will reduce the chances of having additional cost further down the line. Uh, step 6, uh, which is the final one. Employ an interior designer who has the desired experience and excellent communication skills. This will aid you in picturing the end result with uh, planning ahead um, for expenses and special orders. Uh, something like this would narrow down the possibility of, of unforeseen costs uh, creeping up on you. It's important to know that you must do your research and speak with more than a few professionals in the field before uh, embarking on any kind of developing journey or development journey, uh, as the financial side of things can spiral out of control if you don't mitigate the risks. Stay well informed to avoid unnecessary expenses that will ultimately burn a hole in your pocket. Thanks guys, thanks for listening, uh, I'll speak to you later.